Hello everybody, this video is going to be about adding your GoDaddy domain uh, onto a deployment that was done through Vercel. So what you see here is an ordinary website that was deployed through Vercel. If I access the domain that Vercel has given, you can see how it is accessible. It goes to the website. Now uh, to add your GoDaddy domain, make sure you've already bought a domain from GoDaddy and you should be on this page. I will show you how to come to this page too. For now, uh, let's go back to Vercel. Uh, there are multiple ways you can go into the domain section on Vercel. You can click on domains, the button domains here. Or you can also go to the settings and then come to domains here. Now you can see how we already have the domain that Vercel has given us. You need to now go into GoDaddy and to the DNS records section. Uh, to come to the DNS records section, make sure you are in your correct uh, domain address that you've selected that you've gotten from GoDaddy and then click on domain then it'll take you to this particular part of the uh, dashboard and then click on DNS now you copy the domain that's given to you over here go back to our cell and let's add that domain so you add it likewise add the domain And make sure you select the uh, recommended option that's shown to you here and yes you will be connecting it to the production environment and then you will get these DNS records that you will add into the GoDaddy DNS records after removing the existing a type and C name type TS DNS records that GoDaddy has in it which I will show you next once you've reached this part of GoDaddy, what you're going to do is you're going to delete some of the records that's here. So you're going to delete this one, this one, and this one. So you need to notice how you're deleting all the C names and the A type records. After deleting it, you'll need to navigate back to uh, Vercel and add the DNS records that it showed you when you added the domain to it. So we'll have to add this A type and C name type records. So let's make things easy for us this way. So we would add new record. And you can you can leave the TTL at uh, half hours okay once you added just make sure that uh, whatever that you added is uh, visible so we have our C name and the A type uh, DNS records now let's go back to Vercel now Vercel might take a few uh, hours to uh, settle and confirm that it's accessible so give it some time So it took me about 15 to 20 minutes for the uh, link to be accessible or the website to be accessible via the domains that's over here. Uh, as we can see, I'm accessing it through the domain that I had added. Something you can also do to check if your DNS has propagated properly and if it is accessible from anywhere in the world is come to this particular website called the DNS Checker. Add your uh, URL and then uh, filter out for A and C name records and search if it is actually accessible. If you are seeing uh, these crosses in some of the parts of the world, that means that part of the world or if you're accessing that particular server from a different part of the world, uh, 
is not particularly receiving your website so I'd say give it some time and wait patiently till your DNS records have been propagated and then afterwards you'd be able to access your website and with that this is the end of the video hope you found this tutorial useful and if you have any questions dro drop them as comments and I'd be happy to help you out don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel for more related videos goodbye and have a nice day